Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston and every single Sunday I put up a motivating video just to help you get rid of the Sunday scaries and just get ready for the week ahead. So today we are doing an Aldi grocery shop with me as well as some healthy and low carb, high protein meal prep. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that I do when I walk into Aldi is check out all of the new items that they have over here to the left of me. And there's usually just like a bunch of like grab and go snacks, but there's always new things here. So I like to just look at everything. Um, these looked really yummy. I didn't buy any, but they were hazelnut protein bars. And you know how I feel about Nutella. Okay, serious question here. Have any of you ever tried kombucha? I've still never tried it. I'm like afraid to try it, but I know a lot of people love it and they even have it on tap where I work out. Their pre-made salads looked really good today. The little snacks they had were some peppers and hummus and some apples and peanut butter. I also had to look at these. I keep seeing these everywhere. I personally absolutely love pickles, but I know there are pickle people and there are non-pickle people. But the two things that I'm getting from here are just those Santa Fe salads for Chris. And now I'm just showing you the produce. I didn't get too much produce because I had recently done a little shopping. I did grab some Brussels sprouts. We're going to be having my Lazy Mom Shepherd Pie one day this week, but I'm also going to make some Brussels sprouts on the side. And I'm just grabbing some spinach for smoothies. I did also grab some organic peaches. We have not tried them yet, so I can't really tell you about them. Carter wanted to eat one this morning, but they're still not ripe. Okay, this is like my 10th time recording this because I can't stop laughing, but I really love Aldi's raw nuts as well as their um, salsas. Carter and I both love the like peach mango salsa. I've never tried these before and I didn't purchase them, but I just wanted to show you them because I believe they are new here at Aldi. I have also never seen these coconut rolls. They have sesame seeds in them as well. And these cookie thins, I've also never seen these. One of the things that I always grab from Aldi are their chips because we absolutely love their plain kettle chips as well as their barbecue chips. And we just have them alongside of our sandwiches and things like that. I also got these brown rice crackers and I wound up picking up the tomato basil. I'm also picking up some hummus. I absolutely love hummus. The kids don't eat it and Chris can't eat it because he's allergic to sesame. And I also found this, which I thought was interesting. I did purchase it. However, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't give you any info on that. And one of the things that I love a lot about Aldi is their gluten-free selection. It's also very inexpensive compared to regular grocery stores. I am picking up some almond flour and this is just for some high protein muffins that I'll be making later on in the video. I wanted to stock up on the ranch and Italian seasonings. You know, Chris and I are gluten free. We do not have celiac, so it doesn't matter if things are manufactured in the same spot, but the Italian seasoning packet in the grocery store usually has wheat in it and Aldi's does not. I also wanted to show you a lot of the pumpkin things that I found here as well. I did grab some rice squares that are pretty much the same thing as rice checks because we love them. Hands down, this is always my favorite spot in Aldi. It's the Aldi Finds spot. They have a ton of fall stuff. Everything is super affordable, cute little fall doormats, um, even a super cute clock. 
um, and I'll show you the rest. This looked so cool to me and I almost bought it, but I just decided against it. Have you ever tried one of these before? I think it'd be awesome to be able to cook a bunch of things at once. And of course, you know, I'm a planner girl, I'm an organizer girl, so I love all of that kind of stuff. I loved the setup in here. I like how it had the little to-do list with the grocery shopping and your week at a glance, but I think I have way too many planner supplies. These were little pumpkin candles and they also had a really cute wax melter and different wax melts. They also had some cleaning supplies as you see here and they had a ton of workout stuff and a lot of really cool toys that I've never seen before here. I thought this was super interesting, especially if you have young kids, but it's an LED soap dispenser that's motion detected. So like if your kid comes into the bathroom in the middle of the night, it will light up for them. This home is full of endless love and laundry. Ain't that the truth? That was a really cute mat. I loved these organizers. However, I don't really have a purpose for them right now, but I wish that I did. This eight-piece wall grid was cool. Photo laminating pouches. I recently just showed something like that from Dollar Tree in my mom hacks video. I love this little princess. Um, it's like a little treasure chest with two little princess costumes in there for dress up time. Um, some toys and they even had a little baby shark chair. I did wind up purchasing a bath mat for the kids' bathroom as well. Moving on to the baby section, just grabbing a ton of yogurt melts because all of my kids like them. They were out of the banana, um, but we're kind of out of the pouch phase as of right now. All my kids go through phases where they really love things and then times when they really don't really care about things. And right now they're just really not feeling pouches besides just the regular applesauce pouches. Of course, you know, I had to get my Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I did not buy these K-Cups, but they look really yummy. The next aisle was just kind of like things that they don't always have. Um, these were like little apple pouches that came with a spoon. Very interesting. Some kind bar minis and these were peanut butter and dark chocolate. Taco Bell taco starter kits. And they also had some black bean pasta, which I grabbed a few of. I love black bean pasta. I will say I've only ever tried like edamame pasta and I thought it was like okay. However, I really do like the black bean pasta and it has a ton of protein in it.
I did wind up grabbing these just because they sounded really good. I have yet to make them, so I will get back to you on how they taste. Have you ever had maple bacon coffee? Um, I can't say that I have, but it sounds good. Angel food cake, I debate it not getting because, you know, I'm trying to eat healthy. <laughs> However, I know there's going to become like some holiday or something where I'm going to wish that I had that because I've never seen a gluten-free angel cake before. Now I just wanted to show you all of the German goodies that they had. Um, I don't normally see all of this here, but they had a huge selection, so I'm just going to show you what they had. Um, the one thing that we did buy were the potato sticks because they were gluten-free. Um, I also know that my friend's daughter loves these peanut butter puffs, but I didn't buy those either. And now for the staples, just grabbing some eggs and some milk. I got so excited when I saw this until I saw how much sugar was in it and then I got sad and then I put it back. Now I'm just getting some plain Greek yogurt. This has a ton of protein in it. I use it in my muffin recipe as well as in smoothies and in overnight oats. I thought it was kind of cool that they had some meal kits here. I've never seen them before and they were only $9.99. Another thing I really love here are their veggie burgers. They are really, really good. I don't know about you guys, but my kids love soft pretzels. We didn't need any because I have a monster sized bag of them, but I just wanted to show you that they had them here as well as all these little game day appetizers. I also wanted to show you this as a quick little stir fry. Uh, it's not gluten free so we didn't get it but I thought that some busy moms could appreciate this. And then here's just some seasonal goodies that they had out by the checkout. Apple, spiced apple cider and they also had some caramels to make your own caramel apples. And now it's time to check out. You can see everything that I got here. And luckily it was pretty slow on this day. It was a Friday morning, I believe. Um, but usually it's like such a hustle to hurry up and get all your food up on the conveyor belt. And it always stresses me out big time, but I lucked out this day. And finally, just throwing everything into my trunk. So when I mentioned my entire total was $100. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into our meal prep now that we have everything that we need. 
So the first thing I'm doing is preheating my oven to 400 degrees and we are going to be making some spaghetti squash stuffed with chicken, cheese, and broccoli and this is so delicious. The first thing I do is just microwave my spaghetti squash. Um, this one I did for five minutes. It just helps it be like a little bit easier to cut. As you can see, it's still not a walk in the park, but it definitely helps cut it a little bit easier. Also, don't judge my beat up spaghetti squash. It was still perfectly delicious. Now that that's done, I'm just spraying my baking sheet and putting the spaghetti squash face down. And I'm going to roast that for about 40 minutes on 400 degrees. While that is roasting in the oven, I'm just going to go ahead and peel some sweet potatoes. I'm peeling five of them. And this is for a crock pot soup. This is sweet potato, chicken, quinoa and black bean soup and it is delicious a perfect fall meal i've mentioned this in previous videos but i like to leave a little bit of skin on my sweet potatoes and my regular potatoes i just really like the texture that way it has some extra vitamins in it as well next we're just chopping everything up so that we can just throw it right in the crock pot And now that that's done, we are just cutting our yellow onion. We're just using one yellow onion. We're also going to need two to three garlic cloves. I use three because I like garlic. Spaghetti squash is out of the oven and I'm gonna let that cool off. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to chop up some broccoli. You can use grilled chicken for this recipe or whatever kind of chicken you want, shredded chicken from the crock pot, but I'm just using some rotisserie chicken. Next, I'm just heating up some olive oil in my pot here, and then I'm going to throw in my onions, my broccoli, saute that for a little while, and then I'm going to add my garlic.
Now that that's simmered for a little bit, I'm just adding in our chicken and giving that a little stir. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit on very low heat and while that's sitting, I'm going to make our cheese mixture and that is four tablespoons of cream cheese and then we're going to use a half a cup of that plain Greek yogurt. And then we're also going to be adding two cups of mozzarella cheese, which is just one little bag here. So I'm adding half in now and then I'll use the rest to top the spaghetti squash with before we bake it. The spaghetti squash is mostly cooled off now, so I'm just adding that into our pot with everything as well. You definitely wanna let it cool off, not just because you don't wanna burn your hands, but also because it's easier to shred that way. Now that the spaghetti squash is in, we're just adding our cream cheese mixture and giving that a good stir. And then we're going to stuff our spaghetti squash and then top it with some more cheese. And then we're going to bake that on 400 for about 20 minutes. I'm literally getting hungry watching this again because I absolutely love this recipe and I plan on making it many more times this fall. Okay, while that's baking, we're going to go back to our crock pot recipe and you're just gonna need one cup of quinoa. Um, remember previously, we just cut up about four to five sweet potatoes and we need two chicken breast. One of the things that I love about this recipe besides that it's like delicious and fall inspired and super healthy is that it's pretty much just a dump and go crock pot meal. Um, and you see I had my little meal basket there so, so far we have chicken, sweet potatoes, and quinoa. And now I'm just adding in a can of black beans. You saw that I rinsed them and a can of petite diced tomatoes. And then we're just adding five cups of chicken broth. If you wanna go just super easy, buy a packet of chili seasoning. However, I'm just doing my own thing here. I added some garlic, lots of chili powder, some salt, and some pepper. And now we're just gonna cook that on high for four hours. It's dinner time in the Beeston house and we are eating these delicious stuffed spaghetti squash. I did broil them for about three minutes at the end on 425 degrees and that was all that I could eat because it was so filling and delicious. You'll see now it's way later because real life. Um, we just got the kids down for bed and now we're going to work on our muffins. These muffins have quite a few ingredients. Um, if you're going to make either one of these, I'm making a pumpkin and vanilla protein powder uh, muffins with some chocolate chips in them. And then I'm also making uh, chocolate protein powder muffins. And if I'm going to pick one, I would totally pick the pumpkin ones. They were absolutely delicious. The chocolate ones were mediocre in my opinion. Okay, so for the chocolate protein muffins, um, to be able to make 12 of those, you're going to need four scoops of protein. You're also going to need two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of almond flour, two teaspoons of vanilla, a half cup of butter, one cup of Greek yogurt, and four eggs. And then I also added a half a cup of chocolate chips. You can also add like whatever type of sweetener you want. Maybe I didn't love them because I thought I could just go without the sweetener. I thought that the sweetener that was in the chocolate protein powder would be enough. So I didn't add any extra sugars or stevia or anything like that. So 
I'm sure if you added a sweetener to this recipe, they would be much better. But I'm just mixing the dry together, the wet together, and then combining both of them. And like I said, a half a cup of chocolate chips, but I'm Tiffany, so we're adding a little extra. Moving on to the pumpkin muffin recipe, um, I want to say I ate this entire thing in two to three days because they were so good. I just kept going back for more and they were insanely low carb so I didn't feel guilty about it. So for this recipe, you're going to need three fourths cup of almond flour, two scoops of vanilla protein, a half tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I didn't have that so I just used regular cinnamon, a half teaspoon of baking powder, three eggs, one cup of pumpkin, and a half tablespoon of vanilla. I should mention I do have a KitchenAid and I'm sure it would have saved me time and been easier but at the moment I was too lazy to get my KitchenAid mixer out so I don't know if that makes any sense at all but that's what happened. All right, so we're just gonna throw these in the oven at 350 degrees and we're gonna check them at 15 minutes. I say that because every oven is so different, so just check them a little bit earlier. And while they're baking, we're just going to go ahead and stir up our soup and shred the chicken that is in there. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it just gave you some type of inspiration or motivation to get going today. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I make videos every Sunday and Tuesday and we make videos every Wednesday on our family channel, Beeston Family Vibes. Okay.